this is the Perinthian Islands. So when we decided to go to the Perinthian Islands, I was kind of dreading the travels there. It just seemed complicated. The bus would take us six hours. So nope, that is not an option. So I looked into flying. The closest airport is called Kota Baru, and then it's an hour's grab drive to the ferry jetty. The ferries run several times a day throughout the day. We decided to fly. We flew with my airlines and a one-way ticket will cost you $15. Yes, I said $15, seriously. Our flight arrived late in the evening, so there was no ferries running. We stayed in Kota Baru near the airport and the hotel offered us free shuttle service. The next morning we were up and the same grab driver drove us to the ferry which is about an hour away. Everything was literally like clockwork and it was so easy. Our ferry was on time and in about 20 minutes, we were pulling up to the dock on Castle Islands at Coral Beach. The boats drop you off at the beach closest to your location. Coral Beach actually has a pier. People either stay at Coral Beach or Long Beach. Personally, I think Coral Beach is prettier and nicer for swimming. It feels more intimate and chill. Long Beach is much busier and more, a little bit more party-like. The island is just so laid back and chilled out. On Coral Beach, there are a few nice beachy type restaurants. We ate at one called Amelia's Cafe on a regular basis. And by the way, here's the tip. This is the home of the cheapest beer on the island. And these are all of Randy's little friends that would come and visit him every night. There are no roads on the Perinthian Islands, just beach and jungle paths. Here is my <laughs> mule. I'm a mule. <laughs> I no. was a gopher, now I'm a mule. <laughs> We arrived at our hotel. And we have arrived. Not a bad place to be. The Perinthian Islands is known for its diving and snorkeling. There are plenty of paddy dive shops on the island and you will not find a place more reasonable to dive at. Very, very cheap. We found Sea Voice Divers, which was right next door to where we were staying. How convenient. Sometimes when traveling, you feel this connection and you gravitate it and attract it to a place hey because of the people that you just want to hang out with. Well, we Sea Voice was that place. Good guy. Good we guy. went diving a few times and we took our Nitrox certification. The dive masters made our dives memorable and our stay was so much fun. When you're not diving or snorkeling or relaxing on the beach, take to the trails. There are so many hikes and beaches to discover. I recommend heading to the windmill and then discover the landing beach, Turtle Beach, D Lagoon, and our very it's favorite beautiful. beach was Adam and Eve. It was so beautiful. We spent a day at Adam and Eve and we snorkeled, we laid on the beach, and we had the beach to ourselves, which was a real treat. I would say four to five days on Kessel Island is plenty. And it's